All right, guys, another uh, product that I'm going to have to install on something, and I don't know how much that is going to kind of hide the, the product. So these are two different things from uh, VXV Concepts. The first one is an SPC Cumberbund adapter. Uh, so it is a Velcro panel, front and back, and it has a kind of sleeve in the middle uh, for the SPC tails to uh, kind of lock into. So I'm going to give this a try. I think I'm going to try to put my SPC Cumberbund onto my JPC since I'm also looking at the Equinox Cumberbund from Axle, which will replace the SPC Cumberbund on the SPC. Uh, so I think, I'm, I think that's where I'm going to use this thing. Uh, additionally, he sent me his uh, two-piece grid adapter here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what platform I'm going to install this on yet. Uh, I looked at trying the SPC Cumberbund on uh, my Shaw Virgin 1 that I got. Uh, I'm not... I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet, just because the uh, the rear plate bag kind of kind of hides what's going on back here. So it's one, it's not going to show up great for you guys. Uh, two, I just don't know um, necessarily where I want this to find a, a home. Uh, I might get real squirrely though and try both of these on a Faro uh, version five uh, or V5, or however you guys are saying that, um, and put the the SPC Cumberbund on there. Uh, recently got the version 5 and the 3-inch uh, Assault Cumberbund, and I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of how that all fits together. I think the plate bags are done really well, um, but I, I don't necessarily care for uh, the way the Cumberbund worked out. So uh, I don't have a matching Cumberbund for the uh, Faro plate carrier, but maybe I'll try at that angle. Um, Sorry, I'm rambling a little bit, but again, I haven't installed it yet. I, I don't typically split videos up, right? I just shoot it all the way through. But I wanted you guys to be able to see these products first. So uh, the two-piece grid adapter. He had a one-piece grid adapter. Um, two-piece just gives you a little bit more flexibility. Um, maybe there's some inherent faults to this over the one-piece, which we'll get into. I don't think there are, uh, but as I install it, I'll learn more. Uh, so we'll just see how that works out. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, hopefully these videos turn out for you. Thanks. All right, so apparently we're doing cummerbunds. Uh, all, all cool things going on in the cummerbund world. Uh, so I already shot the first half of this. I introduced you to the VXV Concepts uh, SPC adapter as well as their grid. Uh, so I installed it on my Faro V5 here. Uh, and I wanna say these products uh, work exactly as advertised. And I actually really like them specifically on this platform. Uh, I had looked or I had mentioned trying it out on my JPC uh, because I find the JPC inherently more comfortable than the SPC. However, uh, this thing uh, was really bothering me with the uh, the three inch assault cummerbund. All right, I'll do a full rundown on the V5 with this thing in a little bit, uh, but I swapped it out to give it a shot. And I want to say I'm a much bigger fan of this configuration. I also think even though you're buying three separate parts, I think it ends up being cheaper than uh, the Faro Cummerbund. Um, this thing, I kind of ran into uh, some of the same issues as the axle thing. Like things just kind of changed size. I changed size since I, I last wore some of this stuff. Um, but again, that's it's, it's exceptionally no fault of VXV Concepts because it's still my Cummerbund, right? So... Um, the SPC adapter on the front, not quite as rigid as the, uh, the stock SPC. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of movement in here, uh, but it, it definitely serves, uh, the purpose and meets the intent of allowing you to use a structured cummerbund on a, uh, a non-structured host, basically. So, uh, it fits very well on the v5 uh, it also fits uh, plenty of other plate carriers out there uh, and it accepts your spc cummerbunds uh, structured tabs and then the velcro uh, overlaps there uh, and then fits on the other side just fine i will say uh, it is just a hair narrower than uh, the stock spc so you do lose a little bit of cummerbund length uh, if you're trying to get as much uh, of that tab in there as possible, right? 
Uh, not much, but it, it may be enough to make a difference if you had your, your SPC cummerbund figured out just right. All right. And then uh, shifting this thing around to the back, we've got the uh, grid adapter in here. Probably should have paused the video here, and I apologize. But we'll open up this plate flap here, and you can see we've got the two-piece uh, grid system in the back. All right, so uh, VXV Concepts is going to put out a couple of these. They have a one-piece, uh, the two-piece, and then uh, he's going to offer them slick uh, or with a loop exterior. Uh, so the loop exterior kind of keeps a couple more options open to you. But if you're purely going to use uh, skeletal cummerbunds like uh, JPC or SPC style cummerbunds or even the axle cummerbund, uh, you don't need any loop Velcro on the back of this thing. And it just cuts down on the bulk just a little bit. Uh, what's really neat about this system is, uh, for whatever reason, if you need to move your cummerbund from one, uh, one plate carrier to another, uh, you just have to rip the Velcro off and move the whole thing as one unit versus uh, unlacing everything, tying it back in, and, and causing yourself about an hour of work because you're going to have to take your plates out, put your plates back in, size everything, take your plates out again uh, to tie the knots and everything. This one should be sized for you regardless of platform. Pull off the whole Velcro package, slap it on the new rig, and you're ready to go. Uh, like I said, uh, this thing, I, I really, really, really like the way the SPC Cummerbund sits on the Faro V5. Uh, so if you're if you're looking at, at piecing one of these things together, the plate bags, really well done. I'm a fan of those. Not a huge fan of the three inch assault cummerbund. I'll go into more detail on that in another video. But uh, this thing makes takes the V5 to a whole nother level, still giving you that structured cummerbund. Uh, but it's a more functional cummerbund in my opinion. And it's easier to work with. Uh, it's more comfortable, really good deal. Uh, Super solid setup enabled by VXV Concepts.